Read that. Exodus chapter 20, verse 14. Thou shalt not commit adultery. So this is this is one of the Ten Commandments that most of our people know about. It says, Thou shalt not commit adultery. Do you know what adultery is? Huh? What is it? When you cheat on on your wife. So adultery is when you cheat on your wife. The other variation of that that fall under the same category of commandment is fornication. Right. When you sleep, when you have sex before marriage. Let's get that in uh give me Hebrews 13 and 4. Bring it out. Hebrews chapter 13 and 4. Because the commandments of God, and this is we come and we go into the old testament. I started in the old testament first, because that's the the foundation of the laws, and now we go into the New Testament, which majority of our people today read, but they have a bad understanding of it because they talk about a precept of men. That's read right. that. The book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all. So the Bible says that marriage is honorable in all. The Bible never the, the Bible never taught us to have boyfriend and girlfriend. Because when you when you Search the history and Bible times when we was living under our customs, our marriages were arranged. We grew up and we had a woman that was promised to us. And our parents arranged it and we got married. I'm gonna stay PG. Let me test drive this and see if I like it. And then I'm gonna, if I don't like it, I'm gonna go to the next one. Bring it out. If I don't like it, I'm gonna go to the next man. No, the Bible say what? Marriage is honorable in all. Marriage is honorable in all. A husband and the wife is is honorable to God. Read. And the bed undefiled. And the bed undefiled. Whatever you do with your wife behind closed doors, it's undefiled. It's clean. It's okay. As long as you don't break the commandments. Read. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. Anybody that's the whoremongers. And adulterers, that's anybody that's either having sex before marriage or anybody that's stepping out on their wife or their husband. It says God will judge. What's the judgment of God for sex before marriage? What are the some of, what happens when you have sex before marriage? You get what? You get burned. Let's get that in Deuteronomy 28 and 16, so is it 61? Read it. Yeah. Deuteronomy 28, verse 61. How you doing, my brother? What's your name? Will. Will, you believe in the Bible? Yeah. Yeah, okay, read. Do you? Do yeah, we read. Okay. Deuteronomy 28, verse 61. Also, every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this law. So remember, these are the curses. We read it earlier in 28 and 15 that these are the curses that come on the Israelites, which are the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, when they don't keep God's commandments. So it says every sickness and every plague, read, which is not written in the book. Let me finish, let me finish this point, bro. Let me finish the point. Read. Also, every sickness and every plague, which is not written in the book of this law, them will the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. Y'all know you read the Bible, right? Is HIV in the Bible? Does, it, does the Bible say specifically you're going to get HIV if you do this? Does it say you're going to get AIDS if you do this? gonorrhea no so that's what that's that's the judgment for having for fornicating and having sex outside of marriage and committing adultery you stepping out on your wife okay so you understand so those are those are these are some more of the commandments one second bro same thing. No, Give me Matthew, no, Matthew no, chapter 22 no, no. and verse 36. You got the right one. No, no, no. Matthew chapter 22 and verse 36. Because you think you know, but you don't. Bring it out. You said, what, what commandments are you talking about? The Old Testament and the New Testament. What's the difference? Okay, explain what you're saying. Hebrews what? Hebrews what? What is the old covenant and what is the new covenant? No, the only, it's one difference. Okay, it's one difference, but it's not what you gonna say. So is it different? Because your Bible states, I want you to hear me good. Uh -huh. now, in the Old Testament, if there's a New Testament, what's the difference? Is the Old Testament uh, washed away or ready to be apart, or is it we call the New Testament? Hebrews oh, chapter ten and one. Hebrews chapter ten and one. Bring it out. What's the difference? So. 
This is this is the difference of what the Bible say versus what the precept of men. No, no, is. no. I, I, I'm following what the Bible says. You following what the Bible says? Yeah. What's the purpose of Christ? My question is. What's the purpose of Christ? The question is. Because that's what. Let's read it. Because we're gonna answer your question. We follow the old and the new okay. testament because it's My the same is, thing. Based on the Old Testament, you don't supposed to talk to touch anything. So if it's unclean and dead and ready to wax away, according to the book of Hebrews, you don't supposed to touch it. Read so that. My question. Hebrews, Hebrews chapter you know 10, what? verse 1. Bring it out. For the law having a shadow of good things to come. So the law having a shadow of good things to come. What law had a shadow of good things to come? Bring it out. Uh huh. The Old Testament. What was the what was the, the testament. testament means covenant? What was the old covenant that it's referring to? Uh huh. 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 What covenant is Hebrews 10 and 1 talking about? He's talking about the Mount on Sinai. Read it again. Read it again. Hebrews chapter 10. No, listen. I gotta go get some food. Listen, listen. Listen, I want to finish. Listen, read it. Hebrews chapter 10. Verse 1. Bring it out. For the Lord having a shadow of good things to come. Bring it out. For the Lord having a shadow of good things to come. Bring it out. For the Lord having a shadow of good things to come. The Lord having a shadow of good things to come. Read. And not the very image of the things. Uh-huh. Can never with those sacrifices. Can never with what? Those sacrifices. With what? Those sacrifices. So the law is talking about the sacrifice, the sacrificial law. Because you know in the old covenant you had the sacrificial law, the ceremonial law, the moral law, the civil law, and the dietary law. No, not all of them. I tell you right here. Read it again. For the law having a shadow of Listen. good things to come. For the law having a shadow of good things to come. The law. Read. And not the very image of those things. So the law didn't have the very image of the things that it was a shadow of. Read. Can never with those sacrifices. Can never with those sacrifices. Does it talk about the sacrificial law? That's right. what, was, what was Christ? What was Christ? Bring it out. What was Christ? He was the sacrificial lamb. So what he fulfilled was the sacrificial law. That's right. To the New Testament is that we don't sacrifice no more. Right. The laws we still have to keep. You have your beard. That's good. That's a law. Bring it out, huh? You're missing the point. You're missing the point. We just answered that. Okay, you didn't answer the question. What was old and waxing away? Yeah. It's the sacrificial that's law. Right. That's, that's right. what Christ fulfilled. Right. No, that's what the Bible just. Am I? Did I, did I just read something different? Bring it out. Let's read. Let's read on. Let's read on. Never with those sacrifices. So it says, can it never? That the, it can never with those sacrifices read, which they offer year by year. Which they offer year by year. So it's talking about the, the, the subject matter is sacrifice. Read continually. Make the covers there unto perfect. So we're saying that those sacrifices didn't make them perfect. Why? Read. For then would they not have ceased to be offered. They wouldn't have continued to have to offer them if they made them clean. Read. Because that the worshippers was purged shall have had no more conscience of sins. Read but, verse 4. Verse 4. For it is not possible that the blood of bulls and of goats should take away sin. So this is the, the purpose of Christ was to take away our to be a sacrifice for the nation of Israel to take away our sin. Right. Because the blood of bulls and goats wasn't doing it. And it, it wasn't the fault wasn't in the, the sacrificial law. The fault was in us because we was wicked. I agree, but we have to understand once again that is the old testament. We still have to keep the commandments. Right. Because the, the, the New Testament is just nothing but an abbreviated That's version right. of the Old Testament. That's right. Let's get that. Because he did say that. He did say that. He said, I came to fulfill the law. Let's see what he meant. The book what of was Matthew. The, let's see what he meant. Matthew chapter 5. Let's get it out of his mouth. What he said. Read. Matthew chapter 5, verse 17. 
Think not that I have come to destroy the law. Wait a minute. This is Christ speaking. He said, think not. Don't mean it. Don't think for a second that I came to destroy the law. What happens if you destroy something? He could not destroy the law. What happens if you destroy something? You destroy it and it's gone, right? He said, he, Christ said, don't think that I came to destroy the law. Read. Or the prophets. Or the prophets. Christ didn't come to destroy nothing that the prophets written and none of the laws. Read. I am not come to destroy. I am come, not come to destroy, meaning or do away with, but. But to fulfill. But to fulfill. What did Christ fulfill? What did Christ fulfill? What's the name? And I'm 100% agreement. We both agree with the word of God, right? But you have to understand that he cannot. Now, now we are 100% agreement now. Brings up to Jay, he could not become the new covenant. He cannot become the new covenant until he became the sacrifice of life. Which means there, a new covenant, there's an old covenant. What you're saying is different from what the Bible says. That's right. But when Christ said, read it again. Read verse 5 and 17 again. Think not that I, am, that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. When he said this, was he talking about the time that he was walking on the earth? Or was he talking about he came to fulfill what was written of him, him going down on the cross for the nation of Israel? Bring it out. Coming a sacrifice. That's what he's referring to. No. 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 Bruh, the, which is you 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 saying a multi a multitude of things. But you're, what you're saying is contradicting the Bible. No, but what right. you are being teaching these guys don't know nothing. You don't either. Okay. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.